Hello, this is Justin Wheeler. I'd like to thank you for checking out our Easy Fan Page design solution for WordPress. The following video will give you a brief idea of our solution's capabilities. I trust that you'll enjoy watching. Thank you. Welcome to Easy Fan Page Design and this brief demonstration of some of the things you can do using our fan page plugin for WordPress. Uh, if you look at the dashboard now, you'll see there's a new section on the left-hand side called Fan Pages. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a new fan page. And here we have it. You'll see some new tiny MCE buttons, one for video, one for custom um, tabs, tab content areas, one for inserting or changing your font families, uh, one for content that's not light and light, and one for inserting your like buttons, and comment buttons and one for inserting some of our pre-made templates. And we're going to start with that by inserting a pre-made like and reveal template. Uh, so here we go. Uh, like and reveal. And it's now inserted. And so here we go. Um, you can now change this depending on your needs or your client's needs. So if you're doing the fan page yourself, you're doing it for a client, you can make all sorts of funky changes. Insert in a header image which is designed to automatically resize down to the maximum width of a fan page so you don't lose any content. You can change the font family. We've got a full range of fonts which I mentioned briefly earlier. Um, say we have the full Google Font Lab with library plus standard web based fonts. If you look down here, we'll see in a separate window all the fonts you can actually use. So there we go. There's a huge variety that you can choose from which will make your pages stand out. Um, and make them look much more interesting, conceivably. Um, in this particular case, we have chosen a Droid Sans Monoz as our font for our welcome to our page name. Um, then we have a click below and like us, and we have a uh, Google Dynamic like button inserted there. We need to change that for our Facebook name, um, and then you'll see you know, you'll see X, Y, Z depending on what you do when you like the page. You can have some bullet points in there if you like, and this is all our not liked content, which you'll see by the short code. Um, and then we have in our like content we have some tabs um, thanks, tab A, tab B, etc. You can make whatever changes you'd like within those uh, including adding in autoresponder codes and the like. So here we have it. Welcome to your page name. Um, people are already liking it. So your like button. And then if you want to like the page either above or below, let's like it now. And you'll see the advice page showing your various different tabs. So you've got thanks for liking us, content for each tab, um, and then you can have a contact form for WordPress or whatever you like, whatever way you want to contact using Google Map. Whatever WordPress plugin you want to use, pretty much you can use within this. Uh, so that works really well. Um, and you have a number of tabs up at the top, depending on space and tab name length. So that's like the reveal template. This is a basic squeeze template that we did. And so here we go, same sort of thing, logo header, this is your cool header, a video, sign up below, or sign up to receive exclusive updates, and the bits and stars of what you may want to change. Uh, and this is done using our inbuilt autoresponder thing, which doesn't include the long custom codes if you don't want to use that. And it's designed really to look like a Facebook type button um, that you can style as you want and change as you want. So you can pretty much do whatever you like within your autoresponder thing and that is compatible with Aweber, ProFollow, GetResponse and Imnica Mail. Um, otherwise you can use a custom uh, code using a uh, system. This is a sales page type example. It's a very similar sort of thing, a free head, um, header, video, letter. But you can pretty much do whatever you like. This is just some examples just to make it a little bit easier and quicker to set up a page uh, fast. If we now look at the right hand side of our Facebook post page, you'll see that we have some fan page settings. You can choose a background color, a different background color, in your Google Analytics ID. Uh, you can change your fan page height. At the moment it's set to default at 1,500 pixels. Uh, you can make that much higher uh, or you can decrease it. The other thing worth looking at is our jQuery UI library that we're bringing in. And we have two types of scripts. You can insert the tab contents and the accordion. Um, let's insert the tab content to see what it looks like. But the main reason we brought this in really was for the accordion, which is that you know a number of our customers are asking us frequently asked questions um, pages, 
and so we thought this would be useful both for us, um, for you, and for our own pages as well as for our customer pages. So let's insert the accordion as well. And I'll show you what these two look like. Here we go, this is on our test page and you will see different tabs. There's no content level the same, so it looks the same. And then you have the accordion menu which pops up and down depending on which one you click on. So thank you very much for watching this brief demonstration of Easy Fan Page design. Uh, I hope you've demonstrated that this is a very quick and easy way to create stunning looking fan pages in a very short period of time. And I look forward to welcoming you to our members area shortly. Thank you for watching.